Who we got with us uh, this morning? Betty. Tell us about yourself, Miss Betty. My name is Betty, and I'm four children, nine grandchildren, master grandchildren. Still have my mother. My father has passed. Um, coming up, I never wrote a biography. I knew papers on the school saying that I wanted to grow up and be a drug user or a woman of the streets. I'm from a loving family. Yeah. Four sisters and three brothers. You know, it's just like I'm just bound being out here. I just, I'm just tired of me, period. You know, because I know right from wrong. I know what to do. I just fall into the What kind of household did you come from, Miss Betty? Did you have a mom and a dad in the household? Yeah, I had a mom and a dad up until, you know, they separated, but he never divorced. He was, in, he, was, he was in and out. What schools did you go to? I went to high school. I went to 11th grade. What happened after you left school in 11th grade? Where did life I take had you? Two, I had children. I had two children. And then I went and got my nursing license, my CNA license. I missed out a lot of time, a lot of years, you know, in the streets. I didn't start using until I came to St. Louis, and that was the 1989. Where are you originally from? Chicago, Illinois. How was it growing up in Chicago? It was one day. What are some of your childhood memories from Chicago? Going to my grandfather's house, taking 87, 87th Street bus, going over to my grandfather's house. Which is 79th and Hostel. Uh, Jewtown, you know. Um, I ain't really, I didn't have a, I didn't have a hard child. I didn't, you didn't That's suffer. Cool. You know, my mom, she was a very strong woman. I mean, very good background. My father, you know, they didn't get along sometimes. But he was a good father, he had a good father. His good mom was a good father, you know. Um, we wouldn't know. In our household coming up, we didn't have drinking and stuff like that. You know, my mom kept us real close knitted to her and stuff like that. What did, what, um, did your mom and dad teach you growing up that you still carry with you to this day? Yeah, you know, uh, go, uh, to keep, keep kids come first. Kids come first. Uh, to be very manable to your elders. Treat them with respect. Um, keep a clean home. <laughs> you know, I'm totally different from when, the way I was brought up once I come out of the streets. You know, go to church, you know. What church did you go to? Oh, shoot. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh God, I can't hear oh, Lord. New Testament. Yeah. You, you know, we my mom and daddy did a lot with us, you know, took us on trips and stuff to the lake. You know. What brought your family um to St. Louis from Chicago in eighty nine? My mom. My mom my dad stayed in Chicago, but my mom moved here in St. Louis. So she left your dad mm -hmm. and trying to put some distance between her and your oh, dad. She had already been broke up from him. They already had been separated. But she just moved here, just popped up one day, and just left Chicago and moved here. How was the experience mm -hmm. here once she got here? Oh, I cried. I cried a whole bus ride here. But once, you know, time went on, it got better. So once you got here, how did life go here? Oh, shit. It, go, it wasn't so bad. It ain't so, it wasn't so bad coming. You know, coming to stay, you know. I was, and the children, you know, I've been out on my own since I was 20. You know, basically, I was there with my kids and stuff. And, 
Yeah, when it was in my uh, in-laws house. Think they didn't want to try. Well, do you remember what it was initially? What they were dealing with or what you were curious about? Cocaine. What made you curious about it? Because I was seeing her, seeing my in-law doing it. So let me do that. And they ain't try to talk you out of yeah, it or nah. she ain't She ain't putting no pressure on that. You know, she just, nah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Come on, let me try it. I didn't get hooked on the first time. I didn't get hooked on it. It took me about a month to get hooked on it. It didn't come, it didn't come fast. It came slow. The more I used, used it. The more you wanted it. Yeah. That's what I wanted. And where, did, where did life take you after that? After the month? And what year was this? Do you remember? Mm, 1993. In 93 to the end of 93. October 1993. So where did where did life go? It at? didn't go. It didn't go down. It didn't go down slope. I didn't go down fast. It's like I went, but I just got. It was the like year 2000 is when I. Came to the streets and I've been out here ever since. What led you to the streets in 2000? Um, to get high. To get high. That's what led me to the streets. I didn't, I didn't know nothing about going on no corners prostitute. I didn't know nothing about that. It was all, everything was so new. You know. How's the experiences on the street been? And at first it was exciting, you know, because, <laughs> you know, it was kind of exciting because it was easy. It was easy to make more money. It was money out here then. What year was this? This was like in 19, you know what I'm say? Seriously. 1997. 97. Mm -hmm. I did my first prostitution. <laughs> yeah. We still come down here even frequently. Because uh, I go home and stay home for two or three months and then come back out here. Then that, that, that shortened. You know, I find myself coming out here every week. So I stay in the county. Come to the city. So you originally stayed in the county? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you come to the city to yes. do your do your yeah. stuff? Mm hmm Yeah. yeah. And then I still, it's still, it's a routine. I still do it. But now I cry. <laughs> It's, free, it's more frequent now. What kind of advice would you give a young lady thinking about leading this lifestyle, thinking that it's, like you say, it's easy and it's fun? It's and not. It's not. You get worse than most. You get worse than most. You know, you gotta be careful. You know. Have you ever tried to get clean and oh, stay off the street? Several times. How was that situation? It was great. You know, I stayed clean for years. Oh, that's just experience, you know. You know, you gotta have, you gotta have some good back, but you gotta have some good people in your corner. You gotta have some good people out and I do. You know, I stay. So my what's children, your excuse of not staying clean? I don't even know. I just, right now, I don't even have an answer for it. But You're doing what you want to do. And it's crazy. It's do you crazy. ever think you'll get tired? I think I'd probably be in this situation forever, but I don't know. No, don't, don't wish that on yourself. Don't even put that in the atmosphere. Forever is a long time. You know, like I tell myself. You're 54 years old, and you got time to, to turn the car around. Wow. If you want to. Yeah. But 97 to now. Shit, that's, that's I mean, 30, 30, 30 plus. Yeah. 30 plus. Yeah. So if you could go back in time, knowing what you know now, and talk to your younger self, what would you tell them? Yes, don't you dare. I went around. I went around, though. I went brought up around dope and stuff like that. It was a curiosity. Mm -hmm. My mama told me my life was going to end up like this. Though. But you, you didn't listen to and mama. I'm you know why you didn't listen to mama? Because mm -hmm. mama wasn't in the dope. No. See, anybody who ain't into it, they don't know what they talking about. But they know Ooh. everything because that's the reason that they not into it. But now you see it like, damn, mm -hmm. 
everything that your mama, your grandma, everybody, the older people, you don't know what you're talking about because they wasn't into it. You don't right, know what you're talking about. Right. I could do this and I can go back to work and I can be functional, but. You yeah, ain't no way you can uh, be yes, functional. Yes, yes. It, 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 it no got a hold of, it's going to get his hand, it's slowly wrapping his hands around your arms yes. and then it's going to get tighter yes. and tighter where you can't break the grip and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. they like, I told you, look at you, I told you, I could see it all over you because it's a spirit. Yes, it's a spirit. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you have any ways you can be contacted? Do you have any cash app? Do you have any social media? Do you have any any ways that people want to reach out and share resources with you? Yeah. You can give them out if you want to. Um, if you're not comfortable, that's cool. But They'll find me on Facebook. What's your name on Facebook? <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Oh, uh, Betty. Mm -hmm. We uh we appreciate you sitting down with us, Miss Ben. If there's anything you want to say in closing that you haven't said or anything you want to get off your chest, now's the time you can say it. Mm -hmm. Please, just don't experience it. Don't experience it with drugs. Don't try to do something just to see the next person. You know, just, you know, just... They prayed up and just stay in school. Listen to your parents. That's number one. Listen to your parents. What? I just. <laughs> and I sometimes sit back and think, like, Lord, where do I? Where do? Where? Where do we end? When you get tired, you gotta get tired first. And if, it's, if that's all you have to say, Miss Betty, we appreciate your time and we, we wish you all the best and um, thank you.